Hello everyone, so welcome to this week's Tips and Tricks. Uh, so this week we will be talking about uh, rebuild time, so uh, performance evaluation of parts. So first things first, uh, I'll show you how to check the rebuild time of a part and uh, see the statistics of a part. So if you go on this little tab over here, which is called Evaluate, you just have to click on Performance Evaluation and as you can see here this part is 17 features one solid zero surface but what's interesting here is rebuild time okay uh, actually you can see uh, which feature is taking the longest for solidworks to compute okay but there's something tricky about this that uh, it's my little tip of the week is um, in best practices of SOLIDWORKS, they always say the same thing is a uh, feature like patterns should be at the end of the feature tree, but they don't really explain you why, okay? Uh, actually, the, uh, a functionality that's create, that is creating a lot of little faces like this, okay? Uh, if it's in the middle of your feature tree, it's going to take longer for SOLIDWORKS to compute this part, okay? So, uh, the more uh, the more features are creating little faces uh, soon or early inside of your feature tree, uh, the more SOLIDWORKS will take a lot of time to compute this part. So I'm going to show you this with a very good example here. Uh, as you can see, this part is right now uh, 2.42 seconds of rebuild. The simple fact of going at the end of the feature tree with this pattern, okay? So as you can see, I didn't cheat, I didn't do uh, little hacks or tricks here. I just took the pattern and um, uh, get it down on the, the feature tree. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the system compute this for a second, and I'm gonna rebuild the part, okay? To make sure that SOLIDWORKS understood uh, the change over here. So we'll just wait for SOLIDWORKS to understand what I just did. As you can see, it was hard for him. So uh, let's just do a control Q to rebuild the old part. So we'll wait a bit, uh, but technically it's a bit faster than earlier because uh, right now I know he, he likes to have the pattern at the bottom of the feature tree. And we will go back to evaluate and that little button over here performance evaluation and you will see there's a huge difference with just knowing this best practice when it comes to uh, designing uh, designing a part so we'll uh, let the system compute uh, and rebuild the part okay so performance evaluation Ta -da! As you can see, it went from 2.42 seconds to 0 0.63 seconds. That's more than half of the rebuild time by the simple uh, fact of moving the pattern uh, down the feature tree. So that was my little tip of the week. Uh, Take always take a look at this. Okay, uh, if you uh, develop this habit of uh, doing your pattern uh, further down the feature tree, you're always going to have a, a better uh, rebuild time, and uh, obviously your solid org is going to go uh, a lot faster just uh, by taking care of this little option. So this was my trick for uh, this week: uh, rebuild time, how to evaluate parts, and be careful about patterns go down the feature tree with with them and uh on this have a good week thank you